Welcome back to our continuing adventures in the Forgotten Realms. Last time, we came to a Githyanki creche, hoping to get rid of our earworm problem. Unfortunately, their tentacled spider death chair wasn't as helpful as we hoped. And since we had a slight disagreement with their Inquisitor, we left the creche on less than amicable terms. Nevertheless, we had no time to dwell upon our recent massacre, for our path now leads to a land corrupted by darkness known as the Shadowlands. But not before we see a cameo from a well-known character forced into the narrative. I think that's... Is that everything for this area? No, there's technically one more thing. In the uh, monastery or just in like in the in the large area? In the large area. Okay. The monastery we're like done done with, unless okay. you wanna like I think there's like two or three Gith Yankees still in there. We don't need to hunt and kill all of them. Don't we though? Nah. Fine. We fought the ones that were gonna fuck with us. We don't have to slaughter the children. This time. I mean, I, I guess. God. They're not goblins. <laughs> they're not goblins, so now it's bad. No, they're not goblins, therefore they have some value. <laughs> oh, uh, man, that is, that is awful. Uh, yeah, no, we're keeping that in. <laughs> we know there's stuff for Gale up here. Hey, Lady Esther. Let's have a chat. I trust that an early payment has ensured swift action. What news of the Gith Yankee egg? Coming to our project seems like a bit of a stretch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I have the egg here. Thank you. Paying up front seems to have had its benefits. You should continue doing that. Do right. You. Forever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I okay. They they made it as okay as they could as a thing. The whole I mean, stealing babies thing. I yeah, like as much as they could. Yeah. It's gonna be raised by a bunch of scientists. And looked at like a caged animal. Isn't that yep. nice? Then we're gonna go talk to the guy down here. I know that guy. Who could this be with his big white beard and red robes? Oh, it says it right there in yeah. his name. <laughs> Elminster? Yep. The very same, Gale. And a fair bit miffed he is, too. Finding yourself forced to expose his best pair of boots to so many miles of country road on your behalf. Yeah, because elements are just no teleport. <laughs> well, you know, that takes up a spell slot. He has yeah. more spell slots than most people have in days lived. I... Shut up. <laughs> just be happy you showed up at all. Uh, I think some proper introductions are in order. Meet Elminster Ormar, a good friend of mine, but rather more significantly, he's the most famed and respected wizard in the realms. Am I, indeed? Most famed and respected errand boy, more like. I was I mean, I'm pretty sure those are both Time true statements. Yes. To find you. She sent me, Gail. You know of whom I speak. But why? <laughs> Out with it, Elminster. Please. Young man, has your sojourn away from Waterdeep washed away your decorum as well as your patience? Nigh a ten day I've gone. I mean, I'm out of patience. Fair, worthy of the name, drank naught, but what the sky entitled my thirst. Why, some bread, cheese, and a cup of wine <laughs> would appear unto me. A feast. Surely you won't begrudge me a mite of rest and repast before I get, get out with it. I'm not in the habit of taking vagabond. 
Don't be rude to the scariest wizard in the world. Fine, I guess. <laughs> I mean, what what can he do? Uh, I wonder if you can even start a fight with him. Huh. Maybe? I... You can either do a proper fight with him, or, you know, it's an insta-kill for your party, or... Like, you smack him once and he just disappears. Right. Or he's totally immune to damage. Yeah. He's he has, like, three spells. He's like, no. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he's, he's just kind of like... I mean, he, he, he is an author's pet in a lot of ways. Oh, yeah. And they usually even uh, design his look a little bit off of the guy who wrote him. Yeah. And, you know, the creator of the setting. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, you know, the setting has a lot of writers. That's why I emphasize that part. Anyway. Yes, Gail, where is your decorum? Oh, for a lover. Uh, this way, then. Hmm. To your camp. Oh, don't dawdle now, lad. You're the one who's in such a frightful hurry. Oh, nigh on 13 centuries old and he still thinks with his stomach. We'd best follow and see if he's more disposed to speak plainly once it's stopped its grumbling. Very well. I suppose I'm as curious as you are to hear what he has to say. Wise choice. Better to indulge your curiosity than Elminster's appetite. Mm, yes, what a delightful wedge of old Elthurian that was. Doesn't do to parlay on an empty stomach, you know. Makes one's words frivolous when they should be grave. Plenty to digest, after all. A good deal to stew over, if you will. Words ladled with import should be savoured so as to better absorb their meaning. Wouldn't you agree? <laughs> Elminster! I got Sam. Um... <laughs> see... I... Um... Well, that is to say... Gail, my boy, I've come to address a most pressing matter. I'll speak as plainly as I can. For swearing the accustomed frills that decorate my speech. I'm here on behalf of Mistra. The message and the charge I bring you are hers. Oh no. Yeah. Hey, wait, hang on a second. Okay. I'm gonna try and pickpocket him. Oh my god. What? What? <laughs> really? You, th you think that. You were telling me not to be rude to him because of all the horrible things he could do to us, and you're gonna pickpocket him? Well, he's distracted, isn't he? D why, by having a conversation? Oh, man. Alright, so he's level one. He's a level one construct. It's not actually Elminster. Ah. Huh. I, you know what, okay, that... Makes sense, but didn't we just watch him eat? Yeah, but, like, if anyone could make a, a decent one, come on. I guess, but, like, that's a lot of... I mean, that's a lot of effort to, to just, like, send a message. What? Well, Not I... happening. Not happening. It says... Of course. It says I can't reach him. Oh. <laughs> well, of course. He's a, he's a hologram construct, I guess. <laughs> Pickpocket failed. Pickpocket failed. Pickpocket failed. Wow, I, I can't even try. <laughs> <laughs> Usually it'll let you I mean, look at their inventory first, but yeah, it's not even letting me try. I mean, I guess that makes sense in a weird way. I guess. All right, I'm back in the conversation. All right. I'm sorry. You couldn't uh, steal from it's one of the most powerful. Fine. We'll fine. steal from other powerful wizards. I promise. Uh, 
You were sent here as an actual divine messenger. Oh, Mistra's delicate feet are ill-suited for the hardships of the road. You know where you went wrong, Gail. No, we needn't dwell on that here and now. But even so, you're to be given a chance of redemption. Mistra would consider... forgiveness? She would consider... What she considers to be forgiveness. Because, you know, the gods always got to be petty. Maybe a little. She knows I mean, more than a little. With the absolute, that most insidious of evils. I, it's, it's a good point that always comes up in these types of settings. Right. Uh, if the goddess herself is aware, I wouldn't say no to some divine intervention. The very purpose of my presence. In a roundabout sort of way. You must I don't believe you. That the absolute is more dangerous than you can possibly conceive. It threatens all who live. Even those who are undying, it threatens the gods, the weave, the very fabric of the universe itself. That is why I have come here to charge you, Gail, with its destruction. It is Mistress' belief that only you can. Just to add a bit more to the merry soonness of Gail. <laughs> uh, you know, I mean, yeah, Mistra is mistaken. I will be the Absolute's destroyer. I doubt not your conviction, but Gail has an unnatural advantage. The all. Precisely. Mistra has granted me the power to stop the clock as it were, on the orbs rush to overpower you. Instead, you will be able to unleash its lethal combustion at will. Interesting. This could be hell. Or hindrance. Get out of my brain! Or, you know, kill us all. Hmm. You <laughs> find the heart of the absolute. Whatever that may be. And... Use yourself as the uh, catalyst that will burn it from this world. So, you know, blow yourself up to kill the monster. Uh, <laughs> my god, my, my god, man. <laughs> That's monstrous. You're tasking him to kill himself. He is not. But it seems that Mistra is. It brings me no pleasure saying this, my friend, but such is Mistra's will. Yours must be the sacrifice that will undo the Absolute, and for your sacrifice you will be redeemed. Such is Mistra's promise. With that I've said my sorry piece, and need only bestow unto thee the charm I was bid. So what if Gail doesn't give a shit about redeeming himself? Yeah, he totally does, though. I know. Everyone that's been with Mistra is, like, real hard up to get back with her. <laughs> well, I mean, when you when you get with a literal goddess, right. it's kind of hard to go back to anything else. To your care. To you. I commit into care Gail himself. I count on you to shepherd him well on this strangest of journeys. I uh I can't promise that. Like he he almost <laughs> died like five minutes ago. <laughs> uh, Screw you. Uh, on my honor, it shall be. On done. my honor, I'm not sure yet. I can say the same. Like oh no, you well make sure you blow up. Well and wane the nescient seas. So too 
The sky's chosen gods ordain the tidal fates of mortal days. And yet, an ocean born in lonely hours. Come, ebb, come, flow, come, all that is beyond the breadth of our dominion. Be a moon unto yourself. Even the waves of fate can break upon the shores of will. Farewell, my friend. Farewell, Elminster. I'm glad she chose you. Yeah. Are you are you happy now? He's destined to die. Good. <clears throat> All right, let's let's see. He he apparently has more to say. Oh yeah. An audience with Elminster is never less than memorable. I'd have hoped to introduce you to him in less dire circumstances. But those are hard to come by these days. <laughs> Old man with a craving for cheese. Hardly the great wizard of legend. A wizard doesn't reach Elminster's age without enjoying their home comforts. Those who seek danger over cheese don't tend to live as long. For Mistra to have sent him, the severity of her bidding could not be clearer or weigh more heavily on me. Time seems so infinite when you're young. A month is an age. A year is a lifetime. It is a strange feeling to realize how little of it one might have left. Ah, oh, you're seriously considering doing what Elminster said? Of course. We offer the clearest solution to our problem. All I have to do is find the right place and time, close my eyes, and let go. Then the slate will be clean. Wrongs will be righted, the absolute will be gone, and I along with it. <laughs> Again. I don't understand. Can, can't Mistra just destroy the Absolute or Elminster himself? I've no doubt she has the power to do so, but as for the permission, Ao would not look kindly on her meddling in mortal affairs. Divine intervention has a tendency to make things worse, not better. As for Elminster, he saved the realms more times than legend can recount. But to take on a god is no easy feat, even for him. My orb is the best chance we have. And only I can wield it. Yeah, but he could, like, give us access to his armory. He could you know, it for us. He could walk next to us and throw fireballs. Right. At the very least, enchant our weapons and armor. Right, damn. Also, is that how you pronounce it? A-O? I always did. Okay. See, I... I, I've only seen it read as, uh, I was like, is, is, what is it supposed to be? Ow? Ow? <laughs> Apparently. A-O. A-O. A little, okay. Anyway, so that's it. You're on a suicide mission now. Possibly the most spectacular one ever conceived. But essentially, yes. I'm living on borrowed time in more ways than one. Perhaps. Perhaps this is how it must be. That remains ahead of us for now. The heart of the Absolute must be discovered before I can stop its beating. I'll make sure we find it, Gale. I promise. Then I suppose there is nothing more to be done but find the heart of the Absolute and stop its beating. Yep. All right, I need to kick you out of the group now. There. Now the Shadow's lens won't suck quite so hard. But what if I want them to suck hard? Uh, you are about to progress here. Yeah, whatever. I, yeah, I'll go I to bed. 
Go to sleep. Let's see if you murder anyone else. Uh, maybe. Ah! Ah, right. Kill him. <laughs> Violently. Supreme Kithrak. Has Vlakit sent you to slay me with your own blade? I've not come to kill you, Lazel. I've come to aid you. Don't trust him. <laughs> He's come to aid us. Kill him. Skakak Kier Gith Shabeleth. My blade rests. Mother Gith compels you to listen. Yeah, but I don't follow your customs. What? Face! I mean, yeah, like. Speak. Yeah. My ear is yours. I know you carry the astral prism, Lazel. Within it lies Apparently the everyone seed knows. of Blackith's demise. Right? And I intend to help you bring it to fruition. Blackith's demise? Skakith! I should run you through for suggesting it. You know, you're way too loyal sometimes, there, like so. Uh, you must be either a fool or a hero to work against your own queen. A fool stumbles without cause. A hero serves a cause without question. I am neither. Uh, I, I question mind, that statement. Mind, right. And bound by no master. <laughs> now, you must listen. The prism's tenant can put an end to Blackith's tyranny. They must be let loose. I've sought their freedom for eons. When the prism went missing, I feared the worst. Instead, you've granted the opportunity I've so long awaited. All that remains is the key that unchains them. And I've found someone who I believe can provide it. Bring the prism to Baldur's Gate. I'll be waiting in a taproom called Shares's Caress. That is where we decide the fate of my people. Because that's that's where you decide Together the fate of civilization in a brothel, be right? Be slaves no longer. I am no slave. She's still Kithrak. The Undying Queen is my freedom. It is she who will purify me, and she who will ascend me. Lies, Lazel. Every last one. There is no purification, no ascension. The Zaith Isk does not purify, it extracts memory and kills the infected. Nor does the Lich Queen glorify the Ascended. She feeds on most all of them to grow her power and pursue godhood. Madness! Finally, an accurate Madness. statement. Right? This heresy! I... <clears throat> the thing as they say in the I actual rulebook. <laughs> he must have been reading ahead. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, he speaks true of the Zathex. Right. <laughs> you need to trust him. Beef. Everyone like that. Yeah. I served Flacket the whole of my life. Learned her words, fought her battles. Yet she names me her Sharlak. Your words carry truth. I will meet you in Baldur's Gate. Do not make me regret it. Yep. Yeah. Lazel, I see Talakma gear in you, sister in freedom. Together we will be our people's light. Take this. It is a Quanith. A psionic detector. The Queen's warriors hunt you. The Quanith will sound you out when you come near their portals. Hear its cry and prepare for battle or slip away. Now we'll just kill them. I should go. Yeah, Vlad's prepare for battle. Gaze pierces the seas yeah. and skies. She believes me loyal. And I can't afford her mistrust. Keep the astral prism close. Let no one take it from you. Slay any who try. Now to Baldur's Gate. I'll be waiting, Lazo. Him knowing <clears throat> what call it, what uh, the machine does. 
yeah. it makes more sense why now, if you talk to him, he commands you just be slain as opposed to taken to it. He's denying, yeah. I guess, even an ounce more power. <laughs> that, 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 that does make more sense, yeah. Oh. Well, I mean, unsurprisingly, Lizo has more to say. Yeah. Well, let's see. How do you feel about these revelations? Vlakith cost seven hrath crashed. Only in Vlakith may we find light. These were the first words I ever read on Tirsu Slate. But they are no mere aphorism. They are law. They are creed. The root from which the ten thousand protocols stem. Forsake That's one protocol, protocol and forsake Vlakith. Forsake Vlakith and be the blood and meat which sates her dragons. If Vos speaks true, if ascension is a lie, if tadpole purification is a fairy tale, then I have not sinned against Vlakith. She has sinned against me. <laughs> ah. Vengeance! What 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 does in ascension entail? Ascension exactly. is a young Gith Yankee's greatest honor. Long ago, the Gaith enslaved my people. They dominated our minds and bred us for war, until Great Mother Gith took a hammer to our bonds. From the day that seems like a natural young conclusion. Gith have one purpose. To train hard enough to slay a geich and take its head. Then we speak the right of ascension, and a red dragon comes to fly us to Vlakith in Tunarath, city of death. We are that, honored within a town. That's of horrifying, Astral, honestly. It is. Celebrated for our victory, we are Look, this, this uh, giant monster dragon has come to take you to the city of death. Metal. Oh. Metal. Oh. Also, you know, the whole we enslaved these people and made them the best at war. That won't come back to bite us on the ass. But we're the best at mind control. We'll be fine. You know, until the mind control doesn't work. Yeah. Uh, anyway. Boss <laughs> called Vlakith a tyrant. Does this mean you agree? I never thought Vlakith a tyrant or me as a vassal. She was the source of my might and I the envoy of her will. A warrior, a champion, a destroyer. But if Voss is right, and Vlakith consumes the Ascended to gain power, then and he's right. I am no destroyer. I am mere livestock, bred to be harvested and devoured. Every Githyanki is a slave with a singular purpose. Not to cull the Geich, not to prevent their grand design. But to raise Vlakith to true godhood. But you all love her, so that's a good thing, right? I mean, interestingly, mm -hmm. after this conversation is when we should have uh, respect her into Vengeance Paladin. I mean, that nah, doesn't matter. That yeah, 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 yeah. But like story, like story wise, it feels very good here. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. Uh. Who is the one in the prism, do you think? I don't know. I can't know. And that drives me mad. At first, I thought them an illithid deception, a trick of the tadpole. But the dream figure is real. It lives in the prism. Vos believes they are the seed of Vlakith's demise and the agent of Githyanki freedom. And I believe he may be right. I mean, the thing in the prism said something similar. And if Voss is wrong, if his claims are wrong and Blackists are real... Then, when the Kithraki come for me, and come they will, I will submit to their blades. They would feed me <sighs> to their dragons, and I would deserve no better. Anyway, yes. let's move on. I'd like time to think. We'll meet Kithrak Voss at Charesis Caress in Baldur's Gate, until then, be vigilant. Vlakith's eyes are upon us.
Anyway. You don't get time to tank. We have to go into the Shadowlands. It's no ordinary darkness. <laughs> it feels powerful. I'd be far more concerned if people thought that was ordinary darkness. Yeah, all right. Stay on your guard. <laughs> Little goblin man. Are you the true soul? The one and only. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> uh, I'll take that as a yes. Listen, <laughs> Stay out of the dark and move fast. The shadows have eyes. Go on. See, I didn't encounter this. Oh, yeah? Yeah. No, one sec before we run off. Oh. All right. Screw torches. <laughs> I don't need your freaking torch. Well, then, how did you enter the Shadow Land? Shadow Cursed, whatever. Uh, I came in through the uh, the temple the first time. Oh. Oh. And I ran into Harper's. I'm sure we'll also run into Harper's just a little bit later, I guess. Yeah. The shadow curse doesn't seem to affect me like it does others. Not as do you know what this means. That's because you're special. I must be blessed. I mean. Lady Shah is protecting me where Blast, I am left to curse. Who can who can tell? She yeah. Loves me. She must do. Or you're just you know useful. <laughs> That's actually I like that. For some of out of my element of the dark. Yeah. This is no cavern. This is true darkness. Perhaps Lady Shah will show you a path to her embrace if you are worthy. Hmm. Lady I don't. I don't. I don't think you're worthy. No, I'm not. I'm much too loud and happy. <laughs> Those signs we found about dark justicias, perhaps they were no coincidence. In either case, I need to watch for any place dedicated to Lady Shah, a temple, perhaps. All right. I guess all this death and destruction just reaffirms her faith. It would. Look, it's a bunch of goblin people. Yeah. Breach Blossom. What does that even mean? For breaching. It also kind of sounds like another euphemism for popping someone's cherry. Oh, God. Breaching their blossom. Ugh. That's that's the worst I've ever heard. <laughs> oh, come on. I I could always make it worse. Hey boy. You on the bone? Fish. Can I wield a torch in my offhand? I think. It might be the only way to get through doing? this. I near stain myself. Just seeing if this shadow curse is as bad as they say. Word is, it eats anyone gets too deep into the dark. I'll take that it. That is very the true. True soul we're waiting on. Needs passage to moonrise. Wait, well, wait. You are... nah, I, let your mummy... I got kicked out of the conversation. Yep. Whoops. I blame you for that. Sorry. I mean, I don't like. Do we want to go to Moonrise or do we want to find the Harpers? I mean, I'd rather find the Harpers, and because you know all right, these guys suck. Do we just want to kill them all then? I certainly have no issue doing that. This place. Yeah. There's a power in these shadows. I can sense it. It's ancient. Familiar. Remember those night, or night orchids? 
rings a bell? Yeah. Why? I have one right here. Oh, hells. You didn't pick that by hand, did you? They're deadly poisonous. Joking. They're safe. And beautiful. Thank you. That's such a weird moment. <laughs> I... okay. Yeah, I was about to say. That's a little... Different than how she has acted 99% of the time. You know what I think it is? I think that's a, a just a hint of her original personality jumping out because of some a strong reminder like the Night Orchids. <laughs> it's entirely possible. Or, you know, your approval's up so much that, well, you know, right. she's willing to do jokes like once in a while. That really is the first time it's happened. Very serious of you. All right. But go ahead. I want to I talk about that us. I don't know what you mean. Ever since we entered the Shadow Curse, I felt like something's calling to me. Some purpose that I need to find. It's only been like ten minutes. If I can figure out whatever it is that I need to do, well, then there should be more time for us. All right. Odd, oh, stop being so needy. No. All right, I got a bunch of, yeah, I got a bunch of dead bodies. That's cool. What kind of dead bodies? I mean, it's the it's the Harper Patrol, isn't it? Uh. No, these I'm are assuming. No, these are this these dead, are T-flanks. Oh, the poor T-flanks. Well, I, I didn't need to pass the, some investigation check to tell you that. Uh, You're looking at the crow. We'll take, we'll, we'll take a moment to see if we can find that patrol. Cause All right. That might help us in the conversation. Oh, right. oh, there. Keep to the light. Yeah, keep to the light. I do not look like the good guy here. Stop. In this cut, see? <laughs> right? Creeping, creeping. Yeah, I, I am a, I am but a simple monk. I am no threat. I the most honest answer. Break a yeah. spine once. Hands where I can see him. That's fair. Well, that's because you the, the the other guy probably started it. Oh my god, you're threatening as shit. <laughs> He's not trying to be. God, Jonas kind of looks like Geralt's cousin. Yeah. Bye, Jonas. Jonas! I'm here. Why do the shadow Jonas? people sound like the grudge? Can you see yeah. my torches? I can't see yeah. anything. Yeah. Follow my voice. Come back to the light. Who's there? Meg? Is that? No, he's a he's a goner. Jonas? Bye, Jonas. Bye, Jonas. Nope. What an inviting invitation. <laughs> Be a dick. <laughs> oh, man. I... You gotta... You gotta man up. Stop your mewling. It's time to fight or die. Choose. Or I could just be the real dick. Abandon them. Hope they die. Oh, God. Right. Uh, Even though I'm not quite sure how you would have anything that where, would harm shadow people, but... Where's the fight happening? That is a very good question. I don't see anyone around God, me. If we I don't, don't know. If we don't get to it soon, it's gonna be over. Oh, wait, up here. Damn it, I'm out of key. Yep. Like always, I'm always out of key. 
What are you, a fifth edition? <laughs> yes, yes, I'm a fifth edition monk. <laughs> Now we've got to move. I know a safe place. Give me your map. Here is your map. Keep your torch high. If you step into the shadows, you'll be felled in a heartbeat. Safe place. You need somewhere the shadows can't penetrate. That's right. Protected by magic. Only spot in the region that's not been swallowed up by this damn curse. Light will save you here on the outskirts, but a few paces deeper, you're screwed. If you want to catch your breath, the inn's the only place to do it. Hope to see you there. Harpers, move out! Alright. You there! Step forward and keep your... Easy! She's with me. Yeah. Come. I and the crowd goes wild for the old characters I mean I'm I, I think I'm, I might be too contrarian and was, wasn't as happy to have the old characters come back I don't think they needed to be companions yeah, they, they didn't need to be companions. Well, there's also, like, I remember how I left Jahira's storyline in Baldur's Gate 2 where she left the Harpers, and now she's back with them, so that's always going to be a bit annoying. Uh, she actually addresses that later on. Yeah, but is it a good enough explanation? Kind of. <laughs> is it going to be good enough for me? You're very particular, so probably not. How uncouth! <laughs> Legends let me believe better than noble Jahira. It seems tales of my clemency have been greatly exaggerated. <laughs> if you let me go, I'll happily admit <laughs> tales by the hate strangers. Footnote. You have not experienced my hatred, stranger. Not yet, at least. This is why we're here, you see. Ah, yes, pickle the tadpole. That hides all manner of secrets. But if there's one thing that we know... It's that it knows its own kind. That's in your brain right now. Yeah, I don't like that. <laughs> Just, like, think about the size of that tadpole. I am not a true soul. Stop! What's she doing? She's the one who saved us! She's the one who protected the Emerald Grove. Yep. Didn't leave a goblin standing. Not so bad to hang around with either. Saved two of my friends. One from a harpy, and one from a mad druid with a snake. Didn't make a fuss of our thieving either. I pretty much trust her with my life. Aww. A true soul with Aww. a mind of her own? How is that possible? There's four of us, you see. Well, <laughs> more than that. You're the only one there, apparently. Yeah, right. There's four of us here. I got a bunch more at home. <laughs> Collectively, you see. I have a baker's dozen. Here you go. Yeah, if I could just show the artifact. It literally can't be taken from us. It's true. What? Whoa. It. What? Okay. <laughs> it blew up the tadpole. Didn't do that in my brain. Just tell her everything. If, if it did that to your brain, I think it destroyed the brain, the too. The <laughs> right. Hear me, Harpers. All clear, at ease. I'll not pretend to understand what that artifact is. But I'm old and wise enough to recognize a sliver of hope when it crawls out of the dark. And you don't often Tell see an old-looking elf. Why have you come here? Oh, uh, you know, she's a half-elf. Is she? I can never remember. 
At least I, I, I'm like 80% sure that she's a half elf. I'm here on a holiday. <laughs> I'm here on holiday. Our interests align. We must all cure ourselves of the entire cult of the absolute. Just food in the over there. Beds too, if you require rest. Elo oil in the cupboard in case the vines gave you a rash. Settle in. Then come join me for a drink. You may just be the godsend we've been praying for. Speaking of godsends, I am 